Dear students, today we will discuss the sedative hypnotics. What are the sedative and what are the hypnotics and how they are classified means definition, their classification and classification again we would like to discuss as per medicinal chemistry point of view means we are discussing the classification as per chemical category. Okay, let us discuss one by one that is first that is sedative hypnotics means these are drugs basically belongs to which category these drugs are belongs to uh, drugs acting on CNS means central nervous system uh, means these drugs act on central nervous system and these also known as that is sedative hypnotics means try to understand sedative means sedative means uh, that is decrease excitement what is the meaning of excitement if any person have a convulsions or very high excitement the higher um, uh, excitement level in that condition means a uh, highly uh, hyper person in that condition means uh, any person supposed to uh, convulsant or like that epilepsy like like, uh, like condition in that condition if these drugs will be given that their um, excitement will be decreased okay in other words they uh, also known as induced calmness calmness means in hindi language that is the um, shant karna okay that is the sedative uh, next uh, point is that is hypnotics hypnotics means that is produce sleep promoting sleep promoting means uh, induced sleep okay again in other another words we can say that is in, induced Sleep. Okay, and sleep ko induce karne wale ko hum kya bol rahe hain? Hypnotics means try to understand uh, these drugs are uh, in lower concentration they act as a sedative and in higher concentration they act as a hypnotic. Okay, try to uh, now come to the classification. Classification means uh, we would like to discuss as per our medicinal chemistry point of view. First category that is benzodiazepines. How benzodiazepines and what are the structure we would like to let, discuss in later on. But um, the examples are that is the diazepam, oxazepam, prazepam, lorazepam, halazepam, tamazepam, fluorazepam, nitrazepam, flunitrazepam, chlorzepate. Chlorodiazepoxide, Alprazolam, Triazolam, Medazolam, and Estazolam. Okay, means try to understand that in, in pre, uh, these drugs, the, in these in the drugs, that is a palm, that is palm, that is palm, J palm, J palm, J palm, J palm. Means how they will be uh, act as J palm or benzodiazepines. I will explain yeah. everything in the uh, yeah. in their structure. Okay. Similarly, how they can be correlated that is chlorodiazepoxide. How we can uh, understand the alprazolam. How we can understand the triazolam. How we can understand the medazolam. Means how we can understand the estazolam. Means by uh, by name we can correlate easily their structure and with to benzodiazepines okay that is the first category that uh, benzodiazepines belongs to sedative hypnotics and uh, on the basis of their their use these drugs or these benzodiazepines also categorized in different uh, therapeutic category like that anti anxiety like that anti convulsants means uh, these drugs also uh, are uh, also used in the different therapeutic category okay try to come to the next means Next, that is the benzodiazepine related agents. Means the, uh, these uh, two drugs, that is zolpidem and zelepron, these uh, two drugs are uh, having uh, similar structure related to benzodiazepines, but they do not have uh, benzodiazepine nucleus. 
okay that is the uh, related agents come to the next category that is our third category that is barbiturates barbiturates means these are the derivative of barbituric acid what is the barbituric acid how we can understand the structure of barbituric acid i will 100% assure i will make sure uh, you will learn the barbituric acid uh, after that i will clear the everything Okay, barbiturates are cat categorized again on the basis of duration of action. Means longer duration of action, intermediate longer duration of action. That is their duration of action more than six hour. Second category that is intermediate duration of action. That is means three to six hours duration of action. And third category that is shorter duration of action. That is less than. Three hours. Okay, the means that is the longer duration barbitel, phenobarbitel, and mefobarbitel. These are also known as barbitel, also known as barbitone, phenobarbitel, also known as phenobarbitone, mefobarbitel is also known as mefobarbitone. Okay, in similar way, amobarbitel, butabarbitel. Similarly, pentobarbital, secobarbital, and thiapentyl. Okay, these are the barbiturates which uh, which comes under the category of sedative and hypnotics. Okay, next category that is again I would like to introduce the chemical category that is um, is amides and imides. Amides that is glutithiamide, methylone, and thalidomide. These are the belongs to the amide or imides. How they are amides and how they are imides and what is the thalidomide and what is the thalidomide tragedy? I will explain in everything in next step. Second, uh, next category, fifth category are uh, that is the alcohol uh, and their carbamate. Alcohol and their carbamates. Car what is the carbamic acid? I have. Discuss in adrenergic drugs or cholinergic drugs in, um, in detail what is the carbamic acid, what is the acetic acid, what are the carbamates, uh, just correlate that thing, but I, I will explain it later on. Similarly, that is ethylor vinyl, first one, meprobamate, second one, chlorphenacin, third one, methocarbamol, that is next one, carisoprodol, that is the last one. Okay, these are uh, alcohol and their carbamate which belongs to again sedative and hypnotic. Okay, next category that is the aldehyde category. Aldehyde, these are chloral hydrate, triclophosodium and para aldehyde. Aldehyde, basically these are the derivative of aldehydes. Okay, we will discuss the again structure of these drugs molecule. Next, last that is the urides, urides that is uh, assay carbamol. Okay, these all categories belongs to the, uh, that is the sedative hypnotics in during exam or what is the, uh, question may be there. Um, first, uh, I would like to say, first question that are defined and classify sedative and hypnotics. Then you have to answer the by in a this pattern along with their structure if question is present or question is in the in your medicinal chemistry subject. If any question in your pharmacology related subject, then you can write these classification or these name of the drugs without structure. Then in that is okay in pharmacology. Okay. Now, if any objective question, then number of objective questions are there. Means, suppose what is the uh, which one is the benzodiazepine, chlorodiazepoxide is a benzodiazepine, alprazolam is a benzodiazepine, or which one is the related agent to benzodiazepine that is zolpidem and jaleplon, these are the benzodiazepines, related compounds, and which one is the longer acting barbiturate now, this one, which one the shorter acting barbiturate, this one, what are uh, who which compounds. Compounds are yeah, which drug used uh, as a sedative and hypnotics that belongs to amide or imide category. These one. Similarly, these are the carbamate which are used as a uh, sedative and hypnotics. Means, uh, question may be from classification number of times they are comes and in the classification. So, uh, I must request to all of you just uh, mug up the classification completely by name uh, as good as by structure. First, you have to mug up the classification as by name. This is the complete classification. You can take a screenshot also. Okay.